Hey guys, this is my unboxing video for the Odyssey Sign Series headphones. Big box for a small headphone. These are $4.49 shipped directly from Audis. Odyssey. Not sure how to say it, even though I've aspired to own one of their products for many years. Uh, got here pretty quickly from California, across the country to New Jersey. Ordered it on uh, late Thursday and uh, it got here on uh, Tuesday. Wow. This is not like Amazon tape. This is like super tape. All right. Pretty excited when they announced these because Odyssey started selling their LCD line of headphones in around 2010 with the LCD2 that currently sells for around thousand dollars depending on what style of wood you want but ever since then they've kind of just been going up in price and then recently they started selling their uh, they recently started selling their EL series a little cheaper than the LCD but still not cheap now that these are $449, they've kind of entered the uh, impulse buy range for me. Pretty curious to see what they're like. There's not too much information about them online yet. Uh, they come with two cables. The uh, cipher cable, which has a DAC and an amp in it. This is not that version. That version isn't out yet. This is the version with the normal cable. Cables are detachable, of course, so I was told by an Odyssey rep that when the cipher cable becomes available, I'll be able to buy it. This is always more difficult than it should be. So far, I'm really pleased with the packaging. I mean, this is pretty cool. And this is the only planar magnetic on-ear headphone that I can think of. I mean, there are other closed options, but um, can't think of anything on-ear. There's the PM3, the Oppo PM3. Then there's everything that Mr. Speakers and ZMF do. But uh, those aren't over-ear. I mean, those aren't on here, those are over here. Wow. That is nice. It's actually heavier than I, than I anticipated. It's not heavy at all, but uh, it has a nice weight to it. I think it'll still be very comfortable on, the, on my head, but I was expecting something to be it to be really light and airy, and, and you know it is, especially compared to other LCD offerings that tend to be gigantic. But I think uh, still has some weight to it, which I like. I loved how I called Odyssey to make sure that these were in stock because their website was kind of ambiguous. And a human being picked up the phone, which is always exciting. So, and he was very pleasant. Do I have to cut through this little piece of plastic here? No. Hmm. 
one thing I really like is that they resisted the urge to just cover the outside of the air cup with the Odyssey logo. I mean, look at that. I mean, it looks amazing the way it is. I feel like any other company would have just put their logo right here. And Hi-Fi Man is coming out with a Hi-Fi Man Edition S and they, they an on-ear headphone, not planar magnetic, but an on-ear headphone. And they did just that. They put the Hi-Fi Man logo right there. I think that's kind of gaudy. I like this. It's very subdued. Feels great. This is all metal. The outside of the ear cup is, is leather. These cups feel amazing. They swivel nicely. You've got the, the little sign logo inside the ear cup. And it says sign on one side here. So pretty cool. Put these aside for just a sec nice foam, thick foam in there. Is there anything in here? They're just, huh. In here we have a nice carry case. So Audi's logo right there. It's nice and, you know, it's not stiff or anything, but it feels like it's got some like depth to the fabric, like it would actually protect the headphone. Like if you put the headphone in the bag, in your backpack, this would actually protect it. Not if you dropped it, but just from scratches. And there's a pocket inside there. Put that over here. Another box in there. some documentation. One thing that I haven't seen so far, and I might have missed it, but I don't think it's there, is with all the more expensive Odyssey products. Oh no, this is it! Oh, this is very exciting. The model number, the serial number, inspected by a human on, you know, March 10th, which is amazing. The day before I ordered it. Very cool. I was hoping that it would come with one of these. This is like this is like a good part of the reason why I wanted to own an Odyssey headphone. I just wanted a little certificate that said that a human looked at it and put it together. This book. There is a lot of information in there. Okay. Got the... Uh, quarter inch adapter. Looks nice. A nice little kind of texture there on the outside. And the included cable, not the cipher cable with the amp deck, but just the normal cable. So you'll probably want to use your uh, your amp. If, uh, if I'm on the go, I'm going to be using my Fio E18, which is, I love it. Where does it say right left? So this is right, so we're going like this, and then this is right, so goes in like that, this goes in like that, that's pretty cool. Put them on, ooh that's nice, it doesn't click, it just kind of slides out. it on. Definitely comfortable for an on-ear. It almost feels like an over-ear. It's really comfortable. It felt heavy out of the box, but it does not feel heavy on my head at all. 
for, for comparison, here's another planar magnetic. It's a Hi-Fi Man HE400S, which I love. So here's a comparison of the two. This is obviously gigantic and ridiculous, and you can't wear that in public, or else people will think you're insane. Another comparison, here's the Bear Dynamic PG770. And the, uh, the E18. Anyway, they look and feel awesome. And I'm looking forward to uh, maybe reviewing them once I listen to them a little bit more. Thanks.